I think there's strength in numbers. The more people you see, like yourself, that are doing the same thing, all that does is make you more relatable to each other so that you have that foundation. You know that they've been through, you know what you've been through. I'm Wayne Simmons. I've been playing hockey since I was six years old. My name's Emerson Henry. I'm 15 years old and I play for Toronto Leaside Wildcats. I'm Zion Thornhill. I'm 15 years old and I play for Okanagan Hockey Ontario. Hockey means so much. Like, it's my family, it's my community. It provides me with so many great friends and mentors and connections. It brings my family together, just like watching on the TV, going to my games. It just means everything. I'm a part of the Sir Strong Mentorship Program through the Black Girl Hockey Club. They provide support to BIPOC players. So no matter where we go, we feel connected and we feel supported. My first day at Seesaw Hockey, I see kids on the ice that look like me. I see coaches. We all can relate about the same things. It was just so, so nice to see. You know, I just remember my father. He'd take me every Saturday to the outdoor rink behind Scarborough Town Center. That's where I learned how to skate, and then the next thing you do is you pick up a hockey stick. I remember being at Played Against Sports, trying on my new equipment, and I still remember I had the Bauer Lightning skates, a pair of black Bauer gloves. You get that moment where you start dreaming bigger. You're like, I'm actually going to be playing my first hockey game tomorrow morning. Those are my fondest memories. And one of the things that I, I remember the most about Wayne from back then, even at 12 years old, nobody could take the puck off him. None of the instructors. We used to have to tell Wayne, get off the ice. I always viewed hockey as like my safe space. Once you get that first, I think racial slur kind of pierces your bubble. So much of Canada's population is excluded from playing this amazing game. It's still happening now, all throughout hockey, all throughout Canada. To me, that was devastating. But at the same time, hockey was the game that I loved, and I wasn't going to give that up for anybody, and I wasn't going to let what anybody said about me break my spirit. I think that's kind of the reason why I do the things I do. I want hockey to be a sport that's, you know, all-encompassing, that allows, you know, BIPOC children to experience the greatness of the sport, because it truly is a great sport. Programs like today, with DHL's help and, you know, lace the kids up with the new swag, and to actively be here, it's only gonna boost kids' morale and let them know that they're welcome in this sport. Thank you guys so much for coming. We're super excited to have some fun on the ice, but first we have some words from a special guest. Wayne Simmons. Yeah. 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 Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Woo. We missed you already, get you? Here we go, how you guys doing? Our friends at DHL and Uninterrupted Canada have brought us here today to help strengthen our community hockey bond. We're gonna get our gear on and then we're gonna go have a twirl on the ice, all right? Let's get going. I had a great time with you guys, though. Yes? Is that anything racist to you? Yes. Unfortunately, the sport that we play, um, some people don't want us to play this sport, but we got news for them. This is our sport. We go all the way back to the 1800s in the Colored Hockey League back in Nova Scotia, right? So don't let anybody ever tell you this is not your sport because this is exactly where you're supposed to be. I started right where you guys are. You guys can be successful in whatever it is that you want to do. Maybe it's not hockey. No matter what you guys set your minds to, don't ever let anybody take that from you because you guys are kings and queens and you can do whatever you guys want to do. Anything. All right. Getting on the ice was even more exciting, being able to skate with Wayne, being with my community of 
fellow people of color and being able to skate with them and just be with them made me feel so welcome. At the last dressing room we went in, Wayne just walked in and we all got free stuff and everything. It was awesome. What DHL has put on today with Soraya Strong and Seaside Hockey, that's what makes DHL so great. Just connecting different communities so that you know they can help better one another. It makes you want to go play your sport that much more and it makes you love it that much more. Some of these kids, their parents came off and said, I've never seen my son skate like that or I've never seen my daughter skate like that. That's what happens when you put them all in the same room. These kids are all going to go back to their programs, whether they play together or they don't play together, but they'll always have this foundation to build upon and you know, be able to call one another and you know, speak to, to what, what's happening in their lives.